How do we open ourselves to God? What are the techniques we may ask ourselves for prayer? Many of us are brought up by being taught ways or techniques of praying. Formulaic prayers like the Our Father or the Hail Mary, the Rosary, Novenas and so on. And we may also have been taught other methods of prayer like Lectio Divina or imaginative contemplation. Father Thomas Green, whose little book on prayer called Opening to God, which I consider to be a wonderful introduction to prayer if you can get hold of a copy, says that we can speak of techniques of prayer in two ways. First, in as much as they bring us to quiet before God, to stillness so that we can hear God, and second, in as far as they dispose us for an encounter with God. Green goes on to use a wonderful little analogy. He says that if we want to watch TV or listen to the radio, we need to find a space where we can do that, a room where we can shut out or block the noise around us. And then we must turn the TV or the radio on and tune in to whatever station. We must dispose ourselves to hear the broadcast and then tune in. This is essential to prayer as well. God is the broadcaster. Our hearts and minds are the receiving sets. And so the first step is that we come to quiet. We shut out all the other noises or block them so that we can tune in. There are many things we can do to become quiet. We can listen to soft music, we can observe our breath, we can take up a certain posture, we can do yoga, we can say a repetitive prayer like the rosary that brings our minds and our hearts to a quiet attentiveness. Whatever helps you as a person. You see, learning to be attentively quiet before the Lord is not necessarily prayer proper in the sense of it being a personal encounter with God. It is, however, a prerequisite for that encounter with God. In my own experience, the ability to come to quiet could be the most important thing for us to do. We live in a fast-paced world where things are scattered and confusing and distracted. We are bombarded by social media. And it can be a major achievement for us simply to come to stillness and peace. For the Christian, that is the first step, the preliminary step to encountering God. And so as we grow in prayer, we will find quiet more quickly. I love using the analogy of exercise. You know, you cannot get up one morning and decide to run a marathon. You need months of training to do that. If you try to run a marathon with no training, chances are you will give up or you will seriously injure yourself. If you are faithful to your training, your muscles slowly develop and you will be able to run a marathon. It's the same with prayer we will naturally become quiet faster when we practice becoming quiet regularly. This takes time, but it is important because that is the first step in disposing ourselves to an encounter with God. As I said, it's not prayer itself, but an important step. The time will come in that stillness when we will encounter God, when the background music will go off our words and our thoughts fall away and we find ourselves before the living God. We are then open to dialogue, open to listening and hearing the voice of God. If you'd like to be guided in audio meditation on becoming still, visit our website and click on the sidebar where it says guided meditations and then select the meditation entitled Be Still.